Hello all, it's I, your internet uncle Yatsu, here to play some video games with you. Here to collect some crushed bauxite with you. Welcome back to the second age. I made a hopper and an elbow shoot. And I stuck all of the... Nope, I stuck most of. I stuck all of the bauxite stone that we have in there. Uh, it just pops out the back now. Uh, I could make another hopper to put right there and it would collect everything. But as long as I come back, you know, within five minutes, it's fine. Um, just so that stuff doesn't, you know, despawn. But as long as I come back in time, it's fine. Uh, I'm also going to put the olivine that I got. Uh, where does the rest of the... Oh, duh, in your inventory, genius. Um, <laughs> there we go. Um, I picked up the rest of the olivine from the Jules Verne hole. And so that's got to go in there too. We are making, yeah, unpause baby, keep, keep pulverizing. We are making refractory bricks, baby. Uh, unfortunately, I think tier three takes crushed ilmenite and we only have six, I think, units of that. So obviously that's not going to make it. But we can make tier two refractory bricks, which only take crushed olivine, crushed bauxite, and crushed quartz. And then some fire clay, so obviously we have plenty of that. <laughs> oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah, as long as the wind keeps up, we are not going to have any problem with that. Uh, the other thing we are doing today, because obviously watching me sitting there collecting bauxite off the ground is boring as heck. Oh yeah, I made some, I gotta remember. I made some more of that. We gotta collect that. But... We are fixing our armor, because uh, this is not, it's not cutting it. Yeah. Let's take our linen. Uh, here we go. Beautiful. The ability to repair things. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think if I, yeah, I can, if I'm willing to waste like another another um, panel of linen, I can get it all the way back up. Now I look cute again. I'm so pleased. Yeah, I'm adorable. Um, we also, I also went and got that malachite deposit, so we're gonna start crushing all of this because there is teal clay, malachite clay. I'm gonna make myself a fancy bowl. Um, but today's real purpose, uh, yeah, I need the hammer as well. <laughs> today's real purpose is perhaps to finish the other half of a covered bridge. Uh, I made some more roof tiles and I started back in on the roof for the pine section, which I'll show you once we get down there, but... <laughs> Just a giant pile of crushed boxing so wonderful. We're going to make so many refractory bricks with that. I'm so pleased. Where is my... Oh, you know what? The other thing I'm going to make when we get the health hammer back in place is I'm going to make... I'm going to start making lights. This whole thing... Uh, where's my mini-map? This whole thing is just dark down here, and it makes me very sad every time I traverse down it. So, yeah, we're going to have to... We're gonna have to get some lights, we're gonna have to get some uh, regular, like, just plain quartz windows. I did find some more lead, um, that one lead, or the one lead deposit that I tripped over, I went and got that, and so I put some more windows in, uh, especially in the pulverizer room, but uh, obviously it wasn't nearly enough. <laughs> okay, here we are. We arrive once again. Is it possible I need another block here? No, it's not. Okay, good. Here we go. <laughs> uh, now I gotta try and, like, remember, you know, how I actually did this stuff. Um, <laughs> okay, so we need one right there. Okay. We're going to finish these arches, and then we will see about shaving things down. 
I'm very excited about shaving things down. Okay. There we have a cute entrance. Beautiful. I did bring my pantograph, uh, so we are just going to copy that, and we are going to paste it right down here. Uh, paste? Yeah, that's fine. We will... Mm, we might want to undo that, but we can rotate this one. There we go. And I... Do we need... Yeah, I guess we do. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to need two more because I forgot that part. But there we go. Entrance and exit both complete. I'm so pleased. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one cares about you, wolf boy. I figured out our solution to this. We're going to shave this down. Yeah, it's not going to matter. Now we only have half of a one hanging off there. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. That's it, babies. Unfortunately, it means we're going to have to find somewhere else for the light because the light will not attach to half of a block face. <laughs> um, but we'll put it there for now because it's more important to me that this look cute than that it be functional. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Yeah. Plus, I actually kind of like the way this is, like, past the edge of it. Yeah, I kind of dig that a little. I could have gone the opposite way and put an additional block here, which also would have looked cute, I think, but these are already in place, so I might as well just go like this. Uh, yeah, I, I am going to just shave down this entire... Yeah, I am. I'm just going to shave down this entire bridge. That's, yeah, that's my actual plan. No, I am not kidding. <laughs> Time to pick, out the, pick up the crushed olivine. Okay. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, I think I am going to put the rest of it in here. Um, you can smelt it directly into green grass, but I don't really need that for anything, so there's nothing else that I'm really gonna, that I really plan on doing with it. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna leave it in there, and we'll just crush all of it. Not that it's gonna fit in here. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna put these on the wall. They're, they're an art installation now. There. It's a... <laughs> Yeah, it's an art installation now. Watch out, everybody. It's it's coming soon to a museum near you. Uh, okay. Alright, back to the bridge. There. Genius me realized I could just copy one of these shaved planks and just paste it onto the other shaved planks. And as a matter of fact, I also remembered... Um, that I wanted it to be a little more than half because I need it to be um, yeah the magic of the hand planer yeah see aside from the fact that that hangs out a long ways this yeah this is definitely more what I had in mind all right and also the QB chisel tools, um, because they, I think, because they come from a time before you had to have a hammer in your offhand when you chiseled, don't need a, ah, crap, don't need a hammer in their offhand. So you can just right click on the thing and just do it, which makes it a little more convenient when I'm out here in the middle of the night, uh, braving, you know, flora and fauna alike to make my bridge cuter. Oh, yeah. Mr. Cupisan, your mod tools are amazing and I love all of them. Oh well, I will fix that again. Oh, where's my hammer? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, the hand planer is so amazing, you guys. I cannot with how wonderful the hand planer is. There we go. Now we can copy that one and paste it into place and we don't need the hammer in our hand. Ah, perfect. There we go. We can just go along here and do this. Um, I probably will put some kind of decoration around the outside of the windows because it looks a little weird with them hanging out there. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, apparently this is underwater chiseling with Yatsu. Didn't realize... <laughs> Didn't realize I was a snorkel chiseler, but here I am nonetheless. Good thing I can reach. Good thing this lake isn't any deeper. Yeah, let me out of here. Ugh. There we go. There we go. Now it just seems much thinner. Okay, I should not touch that with my chisel before I accidentally unchisel something. Yeah, I just, in fact, I need two more planks right here. And then we need to finish the roof. Do I have even remotely enough to finish the roof? I'm assuming the answer is no. <laughs> Eight. Yeah, that ain't that ain't gonna do it. But uh... come on, let me up here. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's see. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five. We need five more. And they take three bundles, three hay blocks each, and each hay block takes four dried grass. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll come back to you in a minute. I do need to figure out how to... Mm, yeah, this needs to go here somehow. I mean, I could put, I could just put this block back Oh, I'm already on the stair. <laughs> yeah, I could just put that back. I don't know. That looks silly, though. I don't... Yeah, I don't think I'm into that. Uh, how much can I chisel off before it falls off? Oops, careful, don't... It's definitely going to fall off if you chisel the lantern. Okay, so I could do it like that. It still looks a little weird, but eh, it's less weird, I guess. Alright, yeah, let's copy that one. And I am going to put another lantern here in the middle because it's a little dark and it makes me nervous. Uh, and then we'll have to rotate it a little bit. This is not choir practice, okay? That's Wednesdays. Come back later. Okay, yeah, that's slightly weird, but it's fine. I'd rather have the lantern up there. Yeah, okay. I'm also, ooh, you know what? I'm sitting here chattering away. I completely forgot about the olivine. Okay, I don't think I lost any. That's a lot. Okay, that's everybody. And now... Uh, yeah. Na next we have to crush a whole bunch of... Um... Quartz. Yeah, next we have to crush a whole bunch of quartz. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go back to the quartz mine and uh, grab some more quartz then. And I think I'm also going to get a box and uh, put some more storage in this room because I'm swiftly running out. Look at how shiny our faucet is. Look at how shiny it is. <laughs> also, I uh, all the meats, all the meats are done curing. We have 42 meats. <laughs> we have 42 cured red meat, and it will be good for 13 years. 
Also, most of the crop's finished, and I don't think we need any more onions, guys. I, I think we're okay on onions. Yeah, I never get sick of looking out of this window. Although I will say it rained the other day, and it was raining inside, like to the point where it almost put out my cooking pot. This is why I had to move the crate full of peat bricks over here. Uh, so obviously it doesn't really matter whether it says insulating block face or not because it still rains inside. Uh, the only thing I can think to do to fix that is to use, uh, is to either use regular slabs and then somehow put another block on top of them, like a block of shale and then chisel the shale, or put the shale under them maybe so that it you know is like the top half slab of this just of shale yeah i i don't know but for the moment it's fine no one's gonna die if it rains in here it's october we might die if it gets too cold in here this uh <laughs> this winter but yeah I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it to be honest all right let me clear out this darn inventory and then we will go get some quartz. Okay, yeah. I got four giant stacks of quartz. There you go. I got four giant stacks of quartz. Um, and I got some more grass so that we can finish, we can actually finish the uh, the bridge. Yeah, there we go. I guess I'm gonna start putting some of this stuff in these. Excuse me, you need to close. Yeah, because otherwise we are never gonna have enough storage. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you keep on pounding, little pow pounder. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put these away, and then we're gonna go finish the bridge once and for all. I did bring... My two birch planks, one of which goes here, one of which goes there. I did bring my chisels. Why is that like that? Oh, <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I'm glad I realized that, yeah. This one is actually... Here we go. Okay, yeah. Let's, uh, let's fix this up now. <laughs> I'm glad I realized that. There we go. Okay, now it is two planks wide. At the end, there is an arch, and it is complete. I also brought... Plenty of dried grass. Uh, here we go. So that we can make the roof. One, two, three, four. Whoops, oh, sorry. Why you gotta be like that? Four. Five. Confetti falls from the sky. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's so amazing. I did not bring the extra lantern, but that's because the pulverizer is still working. Yeah, see, this one has the same problem. Okay. Okay. Well. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fix that right now. Cause that is just not cute. Okay, there we go. Now confetti actually falls from the sky. <laughs> I'm gonna clean that up a little. Uh, we can put that back into storage. Okay. Bum -ba! It's the other half of a covered bridge. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Great. Oh, I like it a lot. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. And now it has like the tiniest little ridge 
for me to be able to walk on. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna do something around these windows, but I don't quite know what yet. And it's, it'll just be decorative anyway, so... Yeah, it'll just be me and a chisel and, you know, whatever materials I feel like. Uh, but there will be probably two more lanterns, one at each window, you know, just so that it doesn't fade completely to black in the middle there. <laughs> it's a little bit scary in the middle of the night. Uh, and while we're here, we have a whole room with a roof and everything. We have uh, most of a roof over here. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I got the roof tiles up all the way over here. This tree was getting in my way. Um, I don't, I'm not quite sure what to do when it steps up or down a level. These are inner corners, inner roof tile corners. And like from this angle, I like it. It looks, you know, uh, aside from the fact that I really need this to angle this way, but given the materials I have available, I don't mind it. But like from the front, I don't, I don't like that. But it looks even worse with just a regular, you know, roof tile there. Because it just slides on and then just ends. So, <laughs> I don't quite know what to do with that. So I guess it's just going to stay like that for now. Um, but yeah, I got it all the way down here. Yeah, see, when you just, when you just have regular roof tiles, it just kind of stops. And that, that looks even less attractive, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, I made it all the way back to the bottom here uh, before I ran out of tiles. So I've got about two rooms left to actually finish. Um, I used all the lead on the original part of the house. I used all the lead to make windows for this section, so the pine section doesn't actually have... Um, doesn't actually have windows yet. <laughs> Look, it's all green squares now. That's cute. Um, hopefully we'll find some more lead before the season ends and I can actually finish the whole section. Because this section is actually... I uh, Yes, I'm sorry, that hurt. I kind of almost like this section better than the original shale section now. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a little bit cuter, you know? Especially it's a little bit weirder with these pylons. And I still have to think of something to do to cover up the floor. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guess what? I'm not scared of you or your kind. <laughs> but at any rate, yeah, the pine section is coming along. It's about time we went to check on our... Uh, went, to, went to check on our quartz. Uh, I love that so much. I just... Yeah. I, I like, and I, I, this maybe is even growing on me. It's still weird. It's still very weird, but it might, it might be growing on me, actually. <laughs> okay, looks like we finished. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that is a lot of material right there. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, uh, so I'm going to take this down. I'm going to put the health hammer back up and make myself some lanterns for the bridge. Um, and I'll probably actually make some of those candles. Wow, I don't know what that word is. Um, <laughs> I'll probably make some of these candlesticks, or chamber sticks rather, just for the other room so that it's not quite so pitch black all the way down. Um, and after I went to the quartz mine, I got a bunch more of this clear quartz that I can make glass with. So I guess I'm going to do that all off camera. And uh, we are going to enjoy our spoils here. Can I do this? Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> there we go. Uh, movable, baby. Boom. It looks like I'm peeking out over the top. Peekaboo! We have crushed quartz, crushed bauxite, crushed olivine. Yeah. Uh, so thanks for joining me on this crushing journey. Um, <laughs> I'll see you again next time when we shall make refractory bricks and start to enter the steel age. Thanks, everybody.
Bye.